This dream is about the dream of a dream we dream while dreaming in the spirit world. Psst, I have a tale I want you to spread about, said the electric whisper. Miss Pretty was a quiet vegetarian and didn't go out much for fear of being seen. When she felt the pangs of loneliness coming on, she would talk to her cat or the parrot she kept in a cage or listen to the world radio in the kitchen over a large pot of tea and sometimes a biscuit. As of late, she'd been wondering if dead people really did go to heaven, or whether they just got buried in the ground, and that was it. And so it shouldn't have been such a surprise when she was answered out of the blue later that day as she was taking the air by the open window when a hard pan of dead light crept in and said, Do I speak to you? (gasps) Miss Pretty took fright and then screamed and set her chimes to ringing, which caused the hard pan of dead light to melt into the shadows and disappear, leaving Miss Pretty staring in horror at all the shadows of her room where it might be hiding to spring out at her at any moment. Miss Pretty ran for the door in the clothes and shoes she was wearing and grabbed her suitcase in passing and began fumbling with the locks and bolts to get out, all the while with the fear of God in her that she would be caught by whatever was in the room behind her. We are not amused by your secrecy, said the x-ray dog to Miss Pretty, but we have ways to entice you to open up. For the love of God, give me an apple so that I can eat it with my teeth said Miss Pretty to the stupid dog that wouldn't stop talking. Oh, my aching bones, moaned the backstreet hero from his grave and clutching his knees, hips, hands, and feet all over until he was curled up into a ball of misery, aching and moaning. Get up, said the moon. You've got work to do. Now hear this. Now hear this. I hear what you are saying, said the x-ray dog, trying to find something to say through the red megaphone that was broken. The megaphone squeaked and said, If you can't be here, then be there. The dragon raised its head at all this and said, You're keeping me awake. And now, the only time that is left is until the 28th. So you all better stop fighting or bye-bye planet and you'll all be ghosts.